fuck up. What's up, y'all? Smash them likes. Hit that subscribe. It's that time yet again. You're cooking with Frank. All right, so they were supposed to have the Thornton Township board meeting today, but Tiffany Henyard just skipped a meeting. And in typical Tiffany Henyard fashion, she left everybody waiting. She didn't even think people was worth the common courtesy of letting them know that the meeting was canceled. And that's real funny to me because remember a couple of weeks ago when she had the Thornton Township meeting and she canceled it and rescheduled it for Friday because she was trying to slip that raise in there? Yeah, she was trying to get some more money. So she came out real proud. She had a big smile on her face. Oh yeah, the meeting is canceled till Friday at 1.30 when you niggas is at work. Yeah, that's what she tried to pull off. But anyway, today, she didn't even come out and do that. She just had the Freeman come out there and tell everybody that the meeting was over. Keith, I think you need to get to telling on this broad, okay? I think you need to stop cooperating with whatever she's telling you to do. You should have told her punk ass to come out there and tell the people that there was no meeting and then tell them why there was no meeting. Because you know how Tiffany don't like to explain shit. So yeah, this video, we're going to go into a few different clips. The first one, we're going to go into the Father's Day celebration that Tiffany had at the uh, at the ice skating rink. I mean, I guess right now it's just a skating rink or whatever. But she had a little party, a little barbecue. Because you know, that's how Tiff do. She think all the residents need is some fucking barbecue, some balloons, some chickens, some chitlins, you know, some spoiled milk, some rotten ass eggs, you know, and they'll be straight, you know, fuck them. But anyway, we're going to go to that little celebration as she calls it, and then we're going to come back and chop it up about her missing this meeting. So let's roll. Hey guys, the Superman to be a here, you're the people's mayor. Hi, we're out here. We at the biggest, baddest Father's Day uh, picnic celebration here in the village of Dalton. Hey, how y'all doing? So today we are about to make sure we love on all you fathers, show you that we appreciate you, because remember, without you, there's no us. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We wanted to just make sure we give you your flowers while we're here. So let me show you what we got in store for you today. And you can bring anybody. You can bring your grandma, your mama, your auntie, your cousin, your kids, everybody. I got stuff for every single person. Hold on, let me let them go back. All right, so we got this off the course right here. You see, this is the finish line. Go so off the course. So you start, and then you got to run, 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 and finish. Then I got all the little go-karts for you right here. You can actually come and do the go-karts. This is right here in Dalton. And then you got the action throwing. Where that? Do it. You wanna do it again so I can record it? You wanna do it? He walked up there and did it. <laughs> again, guys, it's going on right now in the village of Dalton at 14312 Greenwood uh, in Dalton. It's just ice rink. It's the X, X thorn. Dang. So we got the X thorn competition right here. Uh oh, you going? Go ahead. And then look, right right here, y'all see it. Your Super Bowl vibes are Tiffany ain't here, you're right here. Village Dolphin. Okay. Oh. All right, here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dang! Dang! Y'all don't mess with him. All right, so we got all that. And then look, right here, you got the snowball, man. Everything's free, 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 free. You see that they four wheelers, they out here. Beautiful Dalton. Hey, 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 Edward, how you doing? Bring the baby, where is she? And then you got the bump of the cars right here. And then you come on down more. You have face painting. Hey. Everybody out here getting face painted. What up, love you too, baby. See, look, face paint going on. Okay, then you come over here, and it's the basketball. 
and they can play ball. They basically put on the bungee cords right there, and then they run and they dunk the ball in. So you can see what I'm saying. Hey, good, how you doing? See the bungee cords right there? And they run and they dunk it in here, the ball. But that's all what we got going on. And you got all the people all over there. I don't want to go over there and get stuck, but I just want to show y'all what we got going real quick. Don't look like y'all got too much of shit going, Tiff. But here you are. You're going to still try to sell it to us anyway. Come on out, y'all. You can bring your grandma, your mama. It's free. It's free. We got hot dog. We got chili. We got most smoked turkey tail. Hey, Tiff. Don't nobody even want to go to your shit for free. All right? And after all, it's not free. The Dalton taxpayers are paying for it. But I'll give you some credit this time. It don't look like you spent too much of shit on this one. Yeah, not on Father's Day. You didn't spend shit on Father's Day. You know what I'm saying? By the way, did you call your daughter's father and tell him Happy Father's Day? I doubt it. Because you're one of them spiteful bitches, Tiffany Hinyard. So I doubt you called Justice's father and told him Happy Birthday. But anyway, I'm not going to be petty. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, Happy Father's Day. But I'm not going to be petty like that, Tiffany. It was your birthday today, and I think that's why you skipped that meeting and said, fuck the residents of Thornton Township, because you know they was going to be waiting on your ass again. It might just be starting to break her down, y'all. Even a hard-headed fool like Tiffany Henyard has a breaking point, and I think she just didn't want to hear that shit on her birthday. So not only did she say, fuck the meeting, she didn't even have the common courtesy to tell the residents that the meeting was canceled. She had them people sitting up there for an hour. And then she had Keith Freeman, Thief Freeman, come out there and take that blow and tell everybody the meeting was canceled. So let's roll to that clip and then I'm gonna come back and chop it up again. This ain't funny. I'm talking to her. It's not. I thought, I'm sorry, I thought he was talking to me. I was talking to her. How you doing, Mr. Paul? I'm fine. Good, good, good. How about you? I'm doing, I'm doing well. Can I, should I go home? Or are we going to yeah. leave? So, they're canceling the meeting. <laughs> they're working on a day right hey. now. Hey, why? Do it, cuz of what? Why? I, I do not have the answer to that. I just came out here to tell her to come out here. Why don't you come out? Tell her to come out. Why don't you say come out here without the answer? Guys, listen. All right, folks. All right, folks. But you didn't know it was going to be canceled before. Oh, they are. I didn't know the meeting. You all know that. Okay, she wants to go to the club because it's her birthday. When was this decision made? I appreciate you guys. Y'all know I do. She wasn't having a meeting all the time. So, Keith, when was the decision made? Keith, you better get off that train, man. All right, sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. The meeting has been canceled. Better get off that train, man. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, man. You know more than that. I feel like Charlie Brown with the football. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is, Mr. Lee. You Charlie Brown and Tiffany Henyard is Lucy sitting there on the ground with the football acting like she about to let you kick it. And every time you go to kick it, she pull that boy right from under you and you go fly it in the air, fall flat on your head. That's what Tiffany Henyard is doing to the residents. And in this case, she put Keith Freeman ass up to, you know, telling everybody the meeting is canceled. Keith, haven't you gotten enough of fucking with Tiffany Henyard? Ain't it bad enough she got you to put your name on that charity and then didn't even register the shit? And now all of, you know, she don't want to answer no questions about that either. But guess who gonna have to answer now, Keith? You? But anyway, Tiffany blew off the meeting and I want to take y'all back to a time where Tiffany thought the meetings was very important. So let's go to this clip. And then we'll come right back and chop it on up again. Okay. I know that my colleagues are upset, but that's my social media. All I do is state the facts of what we do in this village, which is they feed you a load of crap and don't tell you the truth. That's the issue. The problem is we used to get emails every time there's a murder or something happened in the village. Guess what they did? Stop sending the emails because they said we should know. But when I go in a grocery store and a resident know more than I know and I'm an elected official, I sit on this boy and I don't know, I got a problem with that. And you should too. Y'all need to stop being upset about what's on social media and start worrying about what we do here in this village. That's two separate entities, two separate things. That's your personal life. That's what you do. My other issue. Everybody got every excuse about what they had to do that day. The whole issue is this was planned. 
pre-planned two months ago. So we all go to funerals, and this is all we respect, you guys. Funerals and different events. We take time and we go, we pause, and then we end it, and we go to another event. I've done that several times, jump to seven different functions, but I still made it to everybody because it's respect. It's about making sure you came to support, but yet my board is not doing that. My other issue, people saying they had a million and one things to do. Let me tell you something about dogs. I grew up out here. When you got a million and one things to do, you make plans for Dalton first. I don't care about what you got to do outside of Dalton. Because you ran to sit here, you need to show up and show out for your people when we need you. That's it. That's it. That's all. So I'm just sick of all the excuses for why people couldn't come together and band together for what we needed. Y'all need us now, not later, right now. So when they come to your door and they knocking about a vote, y'all remember this moment. Y'all remember how they turn their backs on y'all and don't be there or hear y'all voices or how they cancel board meetings because they don't want to hear from the people. I'm sick and tired of that. And they just mad with me because I call them out on their garbage. That's it. That's all. I'm going to continue to do that. Unfortunately, I am the youngest trustee, but guess what? I am the senior trustee. They don't respect my seat or my title but they get upset when I talk about them. And yes, y'all are bobbleheads. Y'all don't think for yourselves. Y'all do exactly what the mayor says, and that's it. And I'm tired of that. Y'all got to stand up for yourself and have a voice for the people. It's the people first. Again, this is this is a board meeting, you know, so if we got to throw, throw blows at one another, we can say that for the meeting, but this is not the time for somebody to be calling other folks bobbleheads. May, Again, this is a board meeting. So I'm, respond, say, I'm responding that for after no, 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 no. I'm responding because, because the, um, the other trustee brought that up to the board meeting. I never ever brought that up here at the board meeting. He brought Facebook up. Okay. Facebook so had nothing to do with Facebook, what Facebook about. is okay. a tool to communicate, not to get on there and what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, stop being mad and let's get together and work together. That's it. That's all I'm saying. It's about being an adult in the situation. Okay, then y'all not being an adult. conflict, then we need to talk about it outside the board meeting. I try to talk to everybody on this board, and none of y'all talk to me. I talk to Jason House and Deborah Denton. That's it. That's all. All the new trustees, I do not speak We're going to move on. We're going to move on, trustee. That's the problem. As usual, Everybody else is the problem, according to Tiffany Hinyard. Everybody else is the bad spirit, and I'm the good spirit. Well, wasn't it the good spirit that called another person out of their name on social media? Another trustee? Didn't you call Ed Steve a bobblehead and then block him so he can't say anything back to you? See, that's some cowardly shit, Tiffany Hinyard, and you do a lot of cowardly shit. Like when you cut the people off at the meetings, when they criticizing your punk ass for something that you know you did wrong. Yeah, the microphones always miraculously go out at that time, but your shit is loud and clear. Your microphone never went out, Tiffany. Yeah, that gold microphone, yeah, that thing never goes out. Everybody else shit will get a short in it though, huh? Yeah, like you expect us to believe that that's just random, right? No, nah, Tiffany. Like I always say, you're the dumbest person in the room. You've just yet to realize it. Now, you're also a coward because I picked up on when Tammy Brown told your punk ass just a second ago, if you want to call names, we can go out in the parking lot. And what did Tiffany Hinyard say? Nothing. You know why she didn't say anything? Because Tiffany Hinyard didn't have all that security at this point. See, Tiffany Hinyard knew that if she kept running off at the gym and ran into Tammy Brown in the parking lot, she was going to have to catch that fade. And I don't think Tiffany was ready to catch that fade with that big ass yellow hair hat on. All Tammy would have had to do was grab a handful of that shit and it was all downhill for Tiffany Hinyard with her slick talking ass. Something else that bothers me about Tiffany, when she talking slick, don't she cock her mouth and lips to the right and look even more ignorant? Yeah, that's a pet peeve of mine. I hate when she does that. But anyway, something else that she touched on, she grew up in Dalton and she ain't going to accept people not coming to the meetings. Well, why the fuck right now you cancel half of the Dalton meetings every month? Because you was big on coming to the meetings when it was trustee Henyard. 
Yeah, when you had the fucked up hair hat, you was big on the meetings, but now all of a sudden, you got you a new hair hat, and you want to cancel half the meetings. You just canceled the Thornton meeting. You canceled it because of your birthday, Tiff? That's not a valid excuse. You should have at least told the people that you wasn't going to have the meeting instead of having them go there and sit there for an hour. But that's how you do, Tiff. Tiff don't give a fuck about nobody else's time. She had a senior citizen standing outside in the cold while her punk ass doing her makeup and getting ready for her little show. Well, this little show is going to end up with you going to prison, Tiffany Henyard, and you ain't going to have none of that makeup, and you're going to have to get rid of that hair hat, and things are going to be a lot different. See, instead of you barking orders at everybody, somebody going to be barking orders at you. And I know you ain't going to be able to handle that. But anyway, let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section. And uh, I'll be right back at another time.